A disaster in every sense of the word. Offensively, the Rebels had a hard time shooting. Defensively, they got picked apart by BYU. Yes, this team is tired and they've been on the road a lot. The week off going to do them some good, but it is still a big time loss to BYU here in Salt Lake City. Old Mountain West rivals reunite as the Rebels run with BYU in Salt Lake City. The Cougars set the tone in the game right from the start, picking apart the UNLV defense and bombing three after three after three. They also had great ball movement like this sequence before kicking it out to Connor Harding for the triple. An 11-1 run opened things up midway through the first half. The Rebels tried to stay in it. Nick Blair goes inside off the glass and Hardy with the dribble penetration for the bucket. But BYU kept the pressure on. Yoli Childs hits a three. Then the UNLV defensive breakdown gives Childs a slam. Donnie Tillman led the Rebs in the first half, getting through traffic and hitting the scoop shot. But BYU shot 60%, including 9 of 13 from three-point range in the first half, and they led 46-25 at the break. The second half wasn't much better. Dalton Nixon and TJ Haas hit back-to-back -back threes to start the final 20 minutes. For UNLV, Mbake Jong got the ball in the lane and he throws it down. BYU didn't let up. Childs with the hook in the hack. Haas with the sweet pass to a driving Nixon for the hoop and the harm. And Jake Toulson schooling on the dribble for two. UNLV was overmatched on both ends of the floor and shot just seven of 24 from three point range. It was a rough afternoon as the Cougars roll over the Rebels, 83 to 50. It came out flat. And with a team like that, that has established a culture, has established themselves uh, throughout the years, and a team that can get going really quick, uh, if you come out and let them throw the first punch, you know, obviously you see what can happen. When you play a team with the skill and passing ability and ball movement of BYU, if you allow them to just move the ball and be comfortable uh, and settle in, they're going to be really good. We, uh, They were really good, and we allowed them to be really good and do whatever they wanted. So I think it kind of went hand in hand. They, they were great and uh, we contributed to that. It is finals week next week for UNLV, so the team will be off from games. They'll pick things up a week from Wednesday as they go the rest of December at the Thomas and Mac. With the Running Rebels in Salt Lake City, Kevin Bollinger, Fox 5 News Local, Las Vegas.